All right, we're going to take a look at rigging the F3 descent device with the RIT 900, which is what comes into the fight or flight system. When we're looking at these systems, we have t an option on which one you're going to buy. One is a single brake and the other is an anti-panic double brake. When you look at them, they look basically almost identical until we look a little bit closer. The big keys to think about is the big holes in here is what's going to attach into your harness with a carabiner. So what we're really concerned about when we're rigging are these four holes that exists on both of them. When we're looking at the differences between the two, we can see this is the single brake, and we can realize that because when we look along this edge, it's pretty flat. When we look at the double brake, we see the nudge comes out from the handle. When we look at the very first hole in the system, this is the most critical one that we rig. We'll see that when the handle is completely depressed in, that that circle is unobstructed. There's a hole that goes right through there, unobstructed. When we look at the anti panicle double brake, when we hold that completely compressed, we see that it is obstructed. And that's what causes the double brake system so we can let go of it and it blocks us. And then if we squeeze in too hard, then it also will slow us down to kind of a snail's uh, pace, depending on your weight and morphology of the rope, or will actually stop you. So for our purposes, we're gonna rig them identical. And if you, anytime you're in the field and have to rig it and can't remember uh, how to do it is right on the side. So when rigging these, we can go ahead and put our carabiner here just to take away any confusion of holes that we got to rig. And all we're concerned about are these four. What you're going to see also is some people rig these a little bit differently on the internet and you'll have people skip certain holes to make it a little bit faster from the point where you hit your anchor to where you're bailing out from, whether that's a window or side of a building. For our purposes, we recommend that you always rig all four until you feel extremely comfortable with it and then uh, you can look at other ways to, to make it so it's a little bit more personal for you. When we look at this, we're going to start from the bottom with our RIT 900. We're always going to start as if we're rigging from our harness to our anchor. So we're going to come up from the bottom on this last hole. Like we said before, this is the one hole that you will never skip that is most critical because that is what articulates with this handle. So as we come up from here, we then turn around and go straight down this next hole. Once we're here, we're going to turn around, go right back up, and it's basically just like rigging a static brake bar. And that's all there is to it for both of them. So as we rig this, this is going to be our anchor. This is where the end of the rope knot's going to be. And this is how it fits in there. We rig this as if for a right-handed person. So you're going to activate that with your left hand nice and smooth, where your right hand can actually keep that into a brake position when you start moving.